All of us have money in uh, Ukrainian credit unions, right? And we should have money in Ukrainian <laughs> credit unions. That's where, you know, we, 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 we should, you know, be really committed to those Ukrainian credit unions. But if those Ukrainian credit unions were only good as Ukrainian institutions and really poor as financial institutions, the most nationalistic, the most patriotically conscious Ukrainian sooner or later is going to pull his or her money out of that Ukrainian credit union because it's not enough just to be Ukrainian. You got to be a good financial institution to maintain the loyalty of people. Now, to bring this to the church, we've got a lot of people in the Ukrainian community who are concerned about this Ukrainian dimension of the church, that Ukrainian political dimension of the church, that Ukrainian aspect of the church, all of that can be entirely valid, but I'm sure you realize that if a Ukrainian church is not providing that which Jesus Christ, by the way, established that church to provide, in other words, if there isn't ministry, if there isn't catechesis, if there isn't conversion, if there isn't a real, um, a real commitment to prayer, to, to living out the, the Christian lifestyle, people are going to turn away from that, you know, just as they will turn away from, from a Ukrainian credit union, which isn't a good credit union. And um, it's, it's a very basic formula, but uh, as we all know, many of the... Um, most important things in life are actually quite simple. It's just a matter of reorienting ourselves to say, I'm going to get away from my old habits of thinking and stop constantly talking about the problems and start pointing to the solution.